What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to create melodies within Logic Pro X using Logic stock plugins, okay, and instruments, all right? This is for people who have just Logic right now and may not have um, a lot of VSTs. Logic can do what all these VSTs can do. You just got to learn how to use it, okay? So, yeah, I just seen something online for like a chord melody um, thing, um, and I'm like, well... That's like hundreds of dollars. You can just do this in here for free. You just got to learn how to use it. So, yeah, great. And you're going to learn um, how to train your ear to listen to what notes fit into a scale and, you know, what don't. So, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so here I'm going to go to create an instrument, and I'm going to software instrument. Um, it usually be like this in empty channel strip, but then you're going to click that, and you're going to go to alchemy, or you can go to any of these instruments. Um, I'm going to go to Alchemy, and all of this looks great, okay? So I'm going to go to Create. I only want one track, number of tracks, one. All right, Create. Boom. So I'm going to go to Alchemy, and then I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to go to Keys. Acoustic, regular, whatever. Ships, people, let's see. Perfect. All right, I knew this was that because it is rated. I don't know who rates these, but yeah. Cool thing too. You can change everything. Okay, boom. All right, so we're gonna create like a two bar melody. Um, you want to go to your toolbox, which is up here. You want to click that, and you want to go to pencil tool. You want to click, and you want to drag that out to. All right, you can click here again. Go to pointer tool. Okay, and then we're going to go to our MIDI effects. On our channel strips, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. On our channel strip, you want to go to MIDI effects. You want to go to transposer, and the transposer um, is basically is like a chord mode okay so or key mode so you can lock in whatever um key you want within transposer all right so anyway i'm gonna do c sharp we're gonna do c sharp natural minor you can see that there is so many different options um, but the most basic um options when making music is definitely the natural minor and the major scale okay but once you get deep into music you can see you can see how all of these are very useful i think prince used the mixolydian scale a lot um they say metro Boomin used it's like the dorian so yeah you just find your thing don't be afraid to get creative all right and um when you're in transposer poser and um you know scale mode there's no way that you can go out of key okay because it locks you in so no matter what key you push you're going to be in it that's why i like this all right and this will help you train your ear to know like um what sounds right and what don't because you'll be clicking and you'll just get understanding like mm, this sounds right and the more you hum with it the more um you'll know what comes next or what came before that note and how to create chords and it's just a great way to train your ear okay so since we've done that, we see that we're in C sharp, natural minor. Um, you can click your E. And we want to click this I to get that stuff out the way, to draw, to get these sounds out the way. And then we want to just stretch out our chord mode page. Okay. And then we're going to go to scale quantize. And all that means is when you quantize your notes, it's going to click them right back into key. All right. And then two, um, here's something else interesting. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to our toolbox within our piano roll because it's different. All right. It's one, it's one in our toolbox and then it's one on just the basic screen to edit um, everything up here. But we're going to go click that. And we want to go to brush mode, brush tool, I'm sorry. 
and then we'll see. Uh -huh. All right, you push Command A, it'll erase all that for you. All right, so you see how short these notes are? It's because they're on they're quantized to one sixteenth note. But if you want your notes longer or shorter, you can control that within here. So you would go to Time Quantize, and then you would click here and you would turn on whatever you like. So I'm going to have mine on 1A. And you can go back and forth. say one fourth and make it even longer. Alright, so yeah, you can get very creative. So let's see what we can do. Alright, so one way I'm gonna go to one eight. I'm gonna make a melody. Alright, so let's see. So you hear that, right? So now, let's do it with the metronome, okay? Then. So uh, 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 I know that's gonna be 16 notes because it's fast. Dun, dun, dun. That's 16 notes. So dun, 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 dun. So what I'm going to do is move that over just a little bit. Double clicking it erases it. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. All right, so I think these need to be spread out just a little more. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so one thing else, one thing else, one more thing I want to show you too within this is the velocity tool. So you want to go to your toolbox and you want to press V. Another quick short way to do it is just to press T and then press V and then you automatically you can do that with any other one. I press E, eraser, T, V, whatever. So then I'm going to press Command A to highlight all of them. And then I'm going to click on that and just scroll up. One more cool thing that you can do, push that I and go back to our channel strip, and you can click this, you can make it bigger, I mean higher. So that's pretty cool, right? 